Hi, no attacks, the nation. Happy Thoughtful Tuesday. So today I wanted to talk about this buzzword that's out there, and it's being an advocate for yourself. So, you know, when you have a rare disease, you do need to be an advocate for yourself, but what does that mean? So in my experience advocating for John, what I found is that I really can't look at the medical profession as being expert in his condition because a lot of the times they're still learning about it. Yes, they're expert in the medical component of things, but we are the experts in how this condition affects John and how, you know, he lives with it day to day. We know what his limitations are. We know what his abilities are. And so for us, it has become more of a conversation with that expert. So in fact, we're teaching them as they're teaching us. And we have to work together to reach you know, a solution or to align on the best course of action for John with whatever he's dealing with um, in that particular moment. They can tell us, you know, what has worked for other people or what it is believed to be the best possible route to go. But then we have to have a say in that because, you know, they may be telling us to do something that John isn't able to do. Or they may be telling us to do something that John is able to do, but so much more he's able to do. So I think that advocating for yourself is educating yourself in the condition that you have and getting as much information as possible so that when you go to this appointment, you are knowledgeable because knowledge is power. I really believe that. And then you also have to bring your perspective in. You have to realize that you are the expert because you're the one that's living with this.